Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna catch up with Edward and his build on the Isle of Skye. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so for those of you that don't know where the Isle of Skye is, it's a beautiful little island off the coast of Scotland in the UK. So Edward got in touch, uh, it's probably several months back now, and he was building a brand new home for him and his family, and he wanted to add a hot tub, so that was where I came in. So Edward had his trades already on site, so it was gonna be quite easy for him to get the guys to form up a hot tub, pour it full of concrete, and with my help with the plumbing, he was then gonna build his own DIY hot tub. Before we get going, it's always a great opportunity to say please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts as well. So there's loads of information on my channel about building hot tubs and plunge pools. Okay, so once Edward had formed up and poured his hot tub, and you can see some images behind me here, he had his rebar and his insulation in place before he actually poured, and of course the plumbing was in situ as well. So with Edward, he has a dual pump system. He's got an air source heat pump that is doing the heating of the hot tub, and it's a beautiful above ground build and it's designed that way so he can make use of the wonderful view that he has from his new home. So Edward and the team were actually rocketing through this project. They were really going at a great pace and it was up and ready for testing in no time at all. So as you can see behind me here, Edward's actually doing the wet testing on all of the systems, it was heating up, it was all running beautifully. However, he did run into a snag and I'm sure he won't mind me sharing this with you. He had a leak. Now this wasn't just a small leak, he was actually losing you know, 15 to 20 centimeters of water overnight, so it was actually quite a big leak. Now the issue was that he was building this during the, the wet season or, or winter and Everywhere was wet, so it was really difficult to actually trace the, the leak. So we had multiple phone calls trying to diagnose this, and where the water was actually settling, as you can see behind me on the picture here, was kind of at the center of the jets. So to me, that was indicating that there was a, a plumbing leak. So Edward and the guys were going through all of the pipe work that they had access to, and they, they just couldn't find anything. So in almost desperation, Edward jumped on Amazon and actually bought some of those leak detection dyes. And what he was gonna do was go and test each of the jets. So to do that, what you do is you close all the system off, you close all the valves that you can, so you've got a total still, set of water that isn't moving and you can then drop the dye in and then you watch to, to see where the dye is being drawn into and that gives you an indication of the leak. Lo and behold, it actually found the leak with the detection dye. And what it was was around the wall niche for the gunites, it wasn't quite sealed. And it was a, a tiny, tiny, little gap if you like, but that little gap was allowing a huge amount of water to escape. So it's, it's just one of those things. With every build, there is always a challenge somewhere along the lines, whether it's a, a leak, whether it's a, a spar pack that needs configuring, uh, there's always something. However, Edward got to the bottom of it with a bit of epoxy putty. He managed to seal around that jet, filled it back up and lo and behold, it was then holding water overnight. So a little bit frustrating for Edward, you know, it did slow him down uh, about a week or so whilst he was you know, trying to track down this leak. But once he'd found that small little gap on that wall niche, filled it in and he had a watertight vessel, fantastic. So fast forward and check this out. How good does this look? I mean, it doesn't look like a DIY hot tub. He's got a beautiful view. Absolutely love the stone finish on the outside. It just looks absolutely fantastic. Edward, you and the guys have done a fantastic job with your DIY hot tub build. 
So for Edward's project, I did the design for him, I supplied him all the parts, supplied him the heat pump. So can I help you with your project? If I can, please do get in touch. You can hit me up in the comments. You can get in touch via buildahottub.com. I'm always happy to hear from you and I do want to hear about your projects and how I can help you achieve your dream hot tub just as Edward has. As always, I appreciate the view. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.